Hi, this is Richard Quack here coming to you live from Malaysia. I would like to welcome you to my weekly live video and in today's session, I would like to talk about personal development and the topic is what is fear? Now, I'm sure you know that everyone has fear. At one time or another, we do have fear. Okay, we do have fear, that's for sure. Now, what is actually fear? Fear is putting yourself into the future. Fear is putting yourself into the future. As you know, there are three blocks of time. You got the past, you got the present, and you got the future. Now, if you go back to the past, you have a lot of guilt, a lot of resentment, a lot of anger, and so on. That is going to the past. So we do not want to go to the past. Neither do we want to go to the future because the future is full of uncertainties. All right. So there is a lot of fear when we go to the future. A good example is because of the pandemic, you know, you may have you fear that, you know, you're going to lose your job or you're going to close down your business. So fear is always when you focus on the future. All right. Now, the thing is that fear may not be real. All right. It may not be real at all. We may fear something that is not going to happen. All right. In a lot of cases, we fear things that are not going to happen. So our fear may not be real. It is what we perceive, that's all. It's what we perceive it to be. So that is what fear is about. And that is a chronium for fear. False evidence appearing real. I'm sure you heard about this, all right? F-E-A-R stands for false evidence appearing real. All right? And I can give you a good example here. Now, if I'm flying on a plane to a destination, all right, and I write a bar of soap in paper, I write it in a uh, piece of paper and I go and approach the captain of the plane and I show the captain the package, all right, the bar of soap that is wrapped with paper and I tell the captain, this is a bomb and I want you to change the destination to XYZ and so on, all right. Now, as far as I'm concerned, right, it is only a bar of soap, but to the captain, it is false evidence appearing real. It, it, it looks real because he perceived that it's a bomb. So that is what fear is all about. All right. So fear is actually survival mode. All right. Fear is putting yourself into the survival mode, whereby all your energy are focused on parts of your body for survival. I mean, it's good to be able to have that uh, uh, set of uh, emotion for survival, all right? But the thing is that, you know, when you are in a jungle, okay, for example, and you hear the sound of a roar, what do you do? Okay? You get ready to fight or flight and all your energy are focused on survival because that roar gives you the impression that it may be a tiger or it may be a lion out there, all right? So you put yourself into a state of fear whereby you know, all your uh, resources are focused on fight or flight, let's see. All right. There is no energy for healing or creation. When all your energy are focused on survival, there's no energy left for you to create or for your help. Okay. So basically, it is good to have fear and use it in the short term. But in the long term, it is not good. All right, in the long term, it's no good because every time, you know, you, you, your body gets into a shock when you go into fear. Okay, so basically, it is not healthy. All right, and I'm sure you know that stress causes a lot of diseases and heart problems because your body is not in balance. When your body is not in balance because of fear, because of stress, then it leads to a lot of health challenges out there. All right, now... The, 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 the important thing I want to point out to you is that, you know, many things that we fear does not come to pass. Isn't it true? I mean, think about it seriously in your life. You know, there are a lot of things that you fear, but at the end of the day, you're wasting your energy and effort because it did not come to pass. All right? So, you know, fear is putting yourself into the future and you put your, your body into a state of, uh, uh, you know, into a state of stress. Okay? Now, how do you handle fear then? There are a few ways you can handle fear, but this is according to my opinion, of course, all right? Number one, put yourself in the present moment. Remember, I talked about three blocks of time, the past and the future. Now, if you want to get rid of fear, put yourself in the present, in the now. That's why people talk about put yourself into the present moment. When you focus in the now, there's no fear. 
All right, let me ask you a question. Now, when you are sitting in your room or, you know, in front of your computer or uh, with your mobile phone, you know, do you have any problem? There's no problem because the present moment, there is no problem. Problem only arise in the future. All right, so one of the ways to handle uh, fear is to put yourself in the present moment all the time. Well, today's session, I'm not going to talk about how to put yourself in the present moment and so on, but understand that, you know, you got to pay attention to the present moment where you are now. Just imagine you're watching my live video here. Where are you now? In your office or in your room or whatever, but put yourself in the present moment. Feel the atmosphere, you know, uh, feel the wind, hear the sound of the fan or the sound of the aircon and so on. Put yourself in the present moment. Be aware of the present moment. Okay? Number two, in order to handle uh, 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 fear and all this stress, you know, it is good to do meditation, all right? Meditation is good for you because you keep yourself relaxed and put into a state whereby your mind is at rest, okay? So meditation is something good, all right? There are a lot of meditation material outside there. I'm not going to recommend you one, but there are a lot of materials there. You can even get uh, uh, relaxing music, you know, and meditate and relax and listen to the music and be silent. And let, don't let your mind stray, you know, be in the present moment and meditate, okay? The last thing I think that uh, is important to handle all this is to accept and surrender. Just accept and surrender. Whatever happens, always happens for a reason, all right? Don't you think so? Everything in life always happens for a reason. At that moment in time, you might think that it is bad. But when you look back over the years or over the period of time, it is good because it has to happen to bring you to where you are today. Many of you know my story. I was at one time in debt, you know, heavy debt of more than a million ringgit. In US, it's about 300 over 1,000 US dollar. All right. Now, what do I do is that, you know, uh, accept and surrender and move on. Of course, accept and surrender and do something to solve the problem. You cannot just sweep the problem under the carpet. All right. A lot of people do that. That's a problem you know you got to solve the problem accept and surrender and know that everything happens for, for a reason and move on that's it move on all right move on that's it when i was in uh, one million ringgit in debt you know i didn't uh stress myself up because i know that it happens for a reason and it is true today when i look back it, it really happened for a reason because it brings me to where i am today that's why i'm successful today because i've gone through all those challenges uh, and obstacles in life okay so remember that you know everything happens for a reason when when you have something that you confront that you confronted with you know that is giving you a lot of challenges and uh, problems remember that accept and surrender everything happens for a reason no don't go against it don't fight against it okay remember that is a law of uh, you know when you force too much you know uh, um, bad things are going to happen all right I mean, I have got a lot of example, my own life, you know, when I want to buy something over the internet, all right? All right, this is a, a good example. When I want to buy something, I want to purchase something over the internet and the credit card cannot go through, cannot go through. And I keep on trying and I'm persistent. I keep trying. At the end of the day, it went through. And you know what? When it went through, later on, I realized that it was not what I wanted or it was a scam. Put this way, all right? Or, or the thing doesn't work at all. So basically, when when things are not happening according to what you want, remember that sometimes, you know, it is preventing you from putting yourself into uh, into sort of uh, problems and issues, you know, okay? So that's all my sharing for today. I hope that you learned something. What is fear? Everybody has got fear, okay? And like I pointed out, the acronym that I use here is F-E-A-R, stands for False Evidence Appearing real now fear is actually putting yourself in the survival mode it is good to be in survival mode to fight and flight when you're in danger and so on but if you keep on doing that all the time it is not healthy you you, you lead to a lot of stress and then it, it cause a lot of health problem okay uh and you don't have energy left for other things like your healing and for creation and so on all right for short term it's good but it's not healthy all right Many things we fear actually do not happen, do not come to pass. All right? We just fear and waste our energy on it. How to handle fear? There are three things I mentioned here. Number one, put yourself in the present moment. 
Number two, you can do meditation or you know be silent and relax and so on. Okay. Uh, lastly, accept and surrender. Know that everything happens for a reason. Okay. So this is Richard Quack here. Uh, hope that you uh, like what you hear and see. If you enjoy what you like and see, please feel free to like, to share, and to comment. I appreciate the time that you spend with me here. Uh, I'll see you again for another live video session uh, on Friday. Then this is uh, Richard Quack wishing you good night and goodbye.